What's up? Uh, I got a little box here. I need a knife though. This cool company sent me out this. Oh, you already know what it is, but uh, find a way to cut this open. So I've never used one of these before. This is a portable, portable um, air pump thing. Port portable air inflator. Uh, it was more for motorcycles, I think. I don't know why they sent it to me. They reached out and was like, hey, we're gonna send you this if you wanna review it. And I was like, that's actually super convenient because I always like need a bike pump in my car or this bike, obviously I'm not gonna pump my hand the motorcycle for obvious reasons, it would just take way too long. Uh, and I don't have a compressor here. So it's like, and I don't want, I don't like the ones that plug into the car ports, but this is supposed to be completely wireless. You recharge it and then, and then just hook it up to your valves and run it. I don't know how long it takes either. I don't know anything about it. I did a little bit of research just to see what it looked like. And I saw a couple people use it, but it didn't show how long it took. This will be like the unboxing and then we'll review it. I'll do like a little time-lapse video that shows how long it takes to top these tires off. Not necessarily fill them up, but to top them off to pressure because I haven't filled my tires up in this motorcycle in two years. Yeah, I'm rocking two years of the same pressure. And then I also have a bike tire here as well. That's flat. I'm gonna put a new tube on that and see how long it takes that to pump it up from nothing to full. There's different modes for, let's see, I don't know how close I can get it, for bike, car, and looks like motorcycle, like scooter. It says it does up to 150 PSI. So it's got the Presta adapter, Schrader, which is like your standard car valve got one that'll do like um you know, like floaties or whatever and then like basketballs football stuff like that so this is what it looks like but you can adjust the psi so you set it to what you want the psi to top off at so yeah motorcycle car all that stuff so let's open this guy up oh bear with me the packaging foam it looks like it comes with a little carrying case which is nice because something like this i'm not you know i don't want to put back in the box i just want to throw it in the car and go put it in the glove box or something there's a little hose all your adapter pieces that you oh, i've already dropped it oops well we can do a little durability test while we're at it so these are all our little attachments this looks like a charger usb c charger Do not use for more than seven to 10 minutes. Break before 10, break for 10 minutes before reuse. Okay. All right, so it does have a little charge to it. It's not fully charged, but probably enough for me to do this. Um, here's our little uh, pump connector. It looks like it's already set to do the Schrader valve. Thread this down here. So here's our mode button here. It's gonna switch between motorcycle, there's a basketball, bike, car and all that so we're doing a motorcycle so we're gonna go to here and we need a set this is it looks like bar oh this has a light on it too that's neat i don't like that it's in bar but whatever this should say what it is on the tire it takes 32 psi so it's in bar so i'm gonna convert that real quick all right so i, I converted it and it's 32 psi which converts to 2.2 bar so Hook this up and see how it works. Looks like it just threads on to that. So I had 1.3 bar in it. That's what it's reading at right now. And I should be at 2.2. So I was at 18 PSI and I need to be at 32. So I was like pretty much half of what I should be at. All right, so as you can see, not long at all, maybe like a minute or two. That was from like a half, half the pressure of what I should have. That was from 18 PSI to 32 PSI. Uh, we're gonna try the front one too. I'll roll the bike out, we'll do the front one, and I'll set the timer on the phone next to it so you can see that, you know, so you can see a little more accurate time. I don't know if you can see that right now, but we're at two bars. We had three, so we're at two. Um, and since that only took a couple minutes, it said we can use it from like seven to 10 minutes at a time. So we're gonna jump right to the front tire. 28 PSI, it's not much less, so let's see what that is to bar. 1.9, so I'm gonna set this to 1.9. On this one we were at, 
At 1.1, let's see what 1.1 is. So 15, okay, so we were like also half on this one as well. Start them at the same time. There you have it, so just under a minute to top this off. That was from 15 PSI to 28 PSI. And we're still at two bars for battery life. So here's gonna be another good test to see the, uh, the power of this from zero to up to pressure with a bicycle instead of a motorcycle. These bikes have a little bit more pressure. We'll do this bike at its recommended 65 from flat because I have to change the tube on it right now. These tires take 65 PSI. I think you gotta hold it to turn it on, okay. So it shuts off after, after a little bit. So we're gonna go to the bike and we're gonna set it to, can you hold it down? Eh. 65 PSI and we'll hook it up. Obviously this one's gonna be at zero. I'm gonna press it just to get the tire seated so the bead doesn't blow off. All right, got both of these. Hopefully these will stay. We'll see, so here we go. So there you go, three minutes and 45 seconds, just about. And that, I mean, that's definitely 65 PSI. So as you can see, we are down to one bar left on the battery. I don't know how much that's gonna give us. Maybe one more tire. So we got two motorcycle tires, not from fully flat, but from half PSI filled up and a bike tire that takes 65 PSI um, from no pressure all the way up to 65 PSI. Not bad. Honestly, this little thing is awesome. I'm stoked that they sent me this. There's your little plug. You have one USB to plug it in. You don't have to have a long hose. You don't have to have an electric outlet to plug it into. You don't have to have any power. You don't have to have a car or a vehicle to plug it into. You don't have to have gas, nothing. It's very, like it's it's got some noise to it, but it's, I mean, it may even be quieter than like the portable car ones. And it pumps up, I would say probably just as fast, if not faster than any of the ones that I've used. This is crazy. This is pretty light. Like. I wouldn't really notice it if I threw it in my camera bag on a ride or threw it in my backpack on a ride. If you have saddlebags, it would be perfect for that. Bring it to the skate park. If you're a kid ride that rides his bike to the skate park, bring a spare tube and throw this in your bag. It's like it's not even there. And my guess is you can probably get four fully flat to fully inflated tires on like a regular bike, maybe even more on a BMX bike because there's a little less volume. But this thing is awesome. Um, all the links will be in the description below if you want to check those out. This is definitely something I'm going to keep in my bag at all times because you never know when you're going to need one of these and you don't have to go and unravel a hose. You don't have to, I mean, that's really the big thing. That's why I don't pump these tires up on my bike. You don't have to stop at a gas station or pay for air. It's all right there. So I'll probably charge it back up and then try it later on the car. I'm super stoked on this thing. So go get yourself one. If you like content like this, like this video. If you want to see more um, or have any suggestions, comment those below. If you don't want to miss out on future videos like car, motorcycle, dirt jumper, bicycle videos, then click the subscribe button so you don't miss out. We'll see you next time.